This video is sponsored by Masai School. Now, if you're watching this video, I think it's safe to assume that you want to be a developer or upgrade your skills as one. Masai School is a 21st century coding school which offers learning programs on an income share agreement model. This means that you pay them only when you get a job and you earn at least 5 lakhs per annum with zero upfront costs. You don't have to pay anything when you get started. And honestly, I think the chances of you getting placed after you take a course on Masai School are very high because people at Masai School only get paid when you do. Additionally, they also have more than 200 hiring partners including companies like Samsung, Paytm, Amazon, etc. Not only do they focus you on getting industry ready, they also prepare you for your interviews by providing soft skills training. If you're already on the learning path and feel the need for a structured support, check out their iProgram. They offer a full stack web development course which focuses on JavaScript, data structures and algorithms, and MERN stack. Their I program also offers a back end web developer course which focuses on Java, Spring Boot, AWS, architecture, DSA, and also SQL. These courses run part time for 30 weeks. The classes are live and interactive with a focus on your holistic development. Additionally, they also have regular talks by tech leaders to give their students an industry perspective. The classes are conducted online and they are taught in English. So you'll need to have a laptop and a good network condition to be able to attend these classes. The next high program batches start on 25th January and the admissions are open right now. So go check them out at masaischool.com. The link will also be shared in the description below. These spam comments are just driving me crazy. So apparently, these are not the comments made by bots. They are actually made by actual people. You know, there are these these comments are actually made from real accounts. You know, people copy a sentence or some given text and then they paste it under YouTube videos. Obviously, this spam attack or you know people posting these spam and spam comments doesn't happen for any video on YouTube out there, but they definitely target videos which have. Uh, which are related to hacking. Anyway, so, so I, I have made, made a few videos, videos on hacking and a few, few of them, them are viral. viral. They have a considerable amount of views and all these videos that I made are just literally flooded with spam comments. You can see on the screen right now, these are, these are how the spam comments look like. And I've already made, I think, one or two videos about these spam comments and from where they are coming from. So basically just to give you an insight about where these comments are coming from, they are coming from websites that claim to hack Facebook accounts. So in other words, when people go to these uh, so-called Facebook hackers online, which are obviously fake, they are prompted to copy a uh, text, copy some text and then go to a particular video and then paste that text as a comment in that video. I don't really blame them for actually making these comments. I blame the creators of those websites, the makers of those websites, or the people who run such kind of websites for spreading this enormous amount of spam on YouTube videos, especially my videos. And surprisingly, even YouTube doesn't detect these comments as spam comments. I don't know how the YouTube's spam filtering system works, but yeah, eight out of 10 times these comments are not uh, you know, detected as spam comments. So if I want to remove a comment, I, I'll have to manually go to that comment and I'll have to delete that comment or report it to YouTube. But that's not going to happen because I receive hundreds or even thousands of such spam comments every day and I can't just manually go to each comment and then delete it or report to YouTube as spam. Something has to be done about it and I just can't sit there, you know, watching these spam comments uh, being flooded under my videos. Now I do have some options. Uh, the first option I have is to turn off comments for my videos which are related to hacking so that no one can actually post comments but that I don't like. I'd like to, I'd like to see people commenting under my videos. So that's definitely not the option I'm going to go for. So my idea to solve this problem is obviously to create something like a bot which will automatically do the moderation, the comment moderation for me. In other words, it would delete all those spam comments from my videos. That's what I wanted to achieve finally. I got to use machine learning algorithms because my bot should be able to predict if 
a particular comment is a spam comment or not a spam comment so it is definitely the need for machine learning here and fortunately this project or this implementation that i'm trying to achieve which is filtering spam comments it it, it happens to be kind of like a hello world program when it comes to machine learning soon i was able to write my first machine learning program so basically all i did was to train my model with some uh, with some training data and then tested it with some testing data now this training data and this testing data are the comments obviously because this is what we're dealing with we want to classify a comment as either a spam or not a spam so i would need a data set uh, an efficient data set in order to train my model i've written a simple python script uh, which makes use of the youtube data api and what this script does is basically it retrieves the comments of a youtube video and it saves it into a csv file so first i went to one of my videos which is related to hacking and which is also affected by this uh, spam comments you know and i just downloaded the comments under that video and i think i made around i mean i downloaded around uh, uh, 2000 to 2500 spam comments all of these comments are spam comments so I downloaded them into a CSV file. So I made two columns in that CSV file. The first column is the comment, which contains the comment, each comment. And then the second column is this spam. The value of this column is going to be one if the comment is a spam. So now I have the spam comments. I also need some comments which are not spam so that my, my machine learning model will be able to distinguish between comments which are spam and which are not spam. So I went to another video of mine, which is not affected by these spam comments. And then I downloaded the comments from this video and then I gathered them to a CSV file and then I marked all of them as not spam. In other words, I gave the value of spam as zero for all these comments. Now I just uh, took the spam comments and non spam comments and then I shuffled them both and then I made it into a new CSV file, which is my final data set that I'm going to try in my model. Good. So now that I have the data set which contains a mixture of these spam comments and the non-spam comments i just trained my model with this data set and it worked out pretty well actually the accuracy that i got on the testing data is around 96 to 97 percent which is pretty good so now that i've prepared a machine learning model that will be able to predict if a given comment is a spam comment or not a spam comment I need to now build a bot that will retrieve the comments that are made on my YouTube videos every now and then and then it should go through each of these comments and then predict if that particular comment is a spam comment or not a spam comment and if it is a spam comment it should be able to delete that spam comment. So obviously I'll be using the YouTube data API to do this stuff. In order to retrieve the comments I can make use of the list API call which will list the comments that are made on all of my YouTube videos. And I can set the order parameter to time so that the most recent comments are retrieved first. So I can get a maximum of 100 comments per each API call. But anyway, we can repeatedly keep making these API calls. We want more comments. But anyways, in order to delete a comment, I need to actually make a call to the set moderation status. And I basically need to set the moderation status to reject it. So in other words, setting the moderation status to rejected means deleting the comment. So this is also simple. The parameter I need to give is the comment ID, which is unique for each comment. And obviously the API request I'm making should be made from an authorized endpoint, which means I should either make it from my own channel or from another channel, which should be the manager of my channel. So everything is figured out now. Now I just need to program this bot to repeatedly keep doing this so that it will automatically retrieve these comments go through each comments predict it as either spam or not spam and then if it's a spam it should send the api request to reject that particular comment but there is a catch here it happens to be that you cannot make calls exceeding 10,000 limit each api call to list the comments costs one unit so that means i can actually make 10,000 list api calls each day 
but I also need to delete a comment. And the cost of the set moderation API call happens to be 50 units, which is pretty expensive if you ask. So let's do some quick math. If I wanted to delete 500 comments each day, then I would need 500 into 50 units, which is 25,000 units, which is way above the alert limit. So yeah, there are certain limitations on how many comments I can actually delete. So keeping these things in mind, I have written the bot such that it would be able to delete the maximum number of comments it can. And also maintaining the quota limit, making sure that it doesn't cross the quota limit because if it does cross the quota limit, the API just doesn't respond to my requests at least for that particular day. So yeah, there you go. That's the bot running right there. And also I included a little functionality which would notify me via Discord how many spam comments it has deleted for a particular time period and also how much quota is still remaining for that particular day. So all right, everything looks perfect. All I have to do finally is to deploy it to the cloud so that I don't have to run it on my local PC. So I just deployed it to the cloud and there you go. My bot is now running. It's trying its best to reduce these spam comments under my videos, but still it has its limitations because of the YouTube data API quota limitations, but it's doing its best. Let's just appreciate that. So thanks for watching, hope you liked this video and if you're not yet a subscriber, please do hit that subscribe button, it really helps me a lot and also turn on the bell icon to receive instant updates. Also, don't forget to leave a thumbs up below, that will really help me, uh, I mean help this video reach more views and also if you did not follow me on Instagram yet, go ahead and follow me on Instagram and also join my Discord server and also do check out my side school if you want to improve your coding skills or even if you want to learn programming from scratch they got programs for both beginners and for people who have prior coding skills honestly i think it's a very good platform because you can enroll in an interactive course without having to worry about paying anything upfront and i think it's the best deal because you pay only if you truly acquire skills that gets you a job the admission process is a simple four-step process First, you need to fill a form on their website with basic information about yourself. Then you need to take the Masai School Programming Test. If you score well in the Masai School Programming Test, you will be called to an interview. And the final step is submitting your documents like your PAN card, signing a couple of forms, etc. And that's it. The admission process is that simple. You can go to masaischool.com to check out the courses they offer and to enroll in them. So hurry up, the classes are going to start from January 25th, so make sure to check them out.